Boom. Okay, we talking from the mic. What's up, y'all? Good evening. Um, it's the evening for me. I'm in California right now. If y'all didn't know, it's raining outside. Pretty much, y'all. I'm about to get lit with y'all. Um, I don't know if y'all can see. We got Orquides. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Orquides, aka Cali Uchi's new album. I got it on record vinyl. So we're gonna be playing this in my record player over there. And pretty much, yeah, I'm gonna make some. A chicken bacon Caesar salad type of pasta salad thing. Um, super good, and I'm pretty much, yeah, just going to do that. I honestly want to get faded. I just don't feel like rolling up a freaking loose leaf right now, but, like, I wish I had a loose leaf already here and, like, rolled up, but I don't. But, yeah, let's get into it. I'm freaking excited. First things first, I feel like we should play Orquides. I feel like we should play it. I feel like... I wonder if it's going to get copyrighted, but honestly, I don't care. Like, sometimes, especially on YouTube videos, I love playing the songs I actually listen to on a daily. Like, I don't want to put YouTube music, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, little background music that I don't listen to on a daily. Like, this is really what I'm listening to on a daily. Um, Kali Uchis, if you're watching this, um, I love you. And your music is magnificent, and it hits the soul. So... We're going to be playing Orquides from the beginning to the end. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please correct me in the comments if I'm not. But so we got Como así me pongo loca, igual que un ángel, pensamientos intru intrusivos, intrusive thoughts. Diosa te mata, perdiste, young, rich, and in love. Tu corazón es mío, muñequita, labios, labios mordidos, no hay le parte tos, heladito. Dame beso, muévate. Those are the songs. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to turn the mic off and just let it play. Y'all can hear it. I think y'all can hear it fine. So, thank you, Mike, for all your hard work. Goodbye. Is it off now? Yes, sir. It's off. Okay. Shout out to DJI Mike. I feel so cool having a DJI mic. Yo. I just want y'all to see this. I hope y'all can see it good. But like, look. I'm gonna take y'all down from right here. This is the cover, bro. Freaking beautiful. When you turn it to the back, and then it has this uh, little secret pocket right here with the actual vinyl, but it still has another cover. And then it has all the songs in the back, and it tells you who produced and wrote, like wrote them with her. Let's get to cooking. Why is it skipping? Let me know in the comments. Why is my record skipping? Did I get a bad copy or is it just the way I'm 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 using it? How about how about this? How about we stop Kelly and we play her after we do this, okay? Okay? Because I don't want to mess up the album, bro. It's already skipping. It's already skipping and whatnot. But y'all seen it, bro. Orquides. I kind of just wanted to show off my, my album. <laughs> I'm going to get my trusty pan right here. 
I got this pan just because I want to uh, cook a bunch of bacon. Y'all, the deli counter at Stater Bros, they charge $6 for over a pound of bacon. Pepper bacon, the best bacon ever. Like, I'm not sure if y'all could see the quality on this bacon, bro, but like, because the freaking Oscar Mayer and all those foods, they be charging so much for their bacon. And it's like good bacon, but dude, look at this. Six dollars for that much bacon. And it's look at the quality of the bacon, bro. I'm trying to put y'all on game. The meat, like, this is the best bacon. If y'all got a Stater Brothers near you, this is it right here. But yeah, pretty much. We're just gonna fry up the bacon. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna use like, probably like half this pack, fry it up, and after I fry it up, I'll show y'all. All right, while the bacon's cooking, we got the pechuga. This is some thinly sliced chicken breast. I, I wanted them thin just because I can get a better crisp on them. So we got the pechuga. I think it's like four pieces in here. Yes, sir. Boom, so I'm gonna add some oil and some seasonings to them. I'll show you all the seasonings I put right here. Also, a tip to cooking your bacon, you don't wanna cook it on super high heat because you're not gonna render out the fat and make it that delicious type of bacon you're wanting. You know what I mean? So I cook it on like a, a medium to low, a medium low, and I'm gonna flip it multiple times because I really want the fat to come out. So it can get nice and like, yeah, crispy, but also like flavorful and tender almost. We got, I'm going to do a touch of oil. Any oil doesn't matter. Just, I just have canola. That's just to help the seasoning stick better. Let's do some garlic salt. Red pepper flakes, some lemon pepper, mostly just lemon, but it's okay. We're going to add some pepper and then that'll be it. Some black pepper. And then we mix another flip. See how all the fat's coming out? It's rendering. Gotta cook it kind of slow. Now, I would also cut it in half. I usually cut them in half because then they lay flat, but I kind of forgot. But it's still gonna come out all good. Because you see how it's rippling? It's because it's so long. So when you cut it in half, you can get crispy like, it crisps up easier because it's all touching the pan. But it's all good. All right, now we got the pechuga all seasoned up. So after the bacon's done, I'm gonna cook it in the bacon fat. And I'm doing all the meats and stuff first because it's, it's supposed to be a cold pasta salad. So I want all the bacon to cool down, the chicken to cool down. I'm gonna cook the corn, I want that to cool down. And then that's when we can add everything together. So, and the pasta has to cool down as well. So I'm honestly gonna put on a pot of water right now to boil the pasta so that can already start cooling down and then we'll be good to go. I don't think I'm gonna use a full box. A full box is a lot of food. I think I'll probably use maybe a half a box or three fourths of a box. So let's get it. All right, bacon is pretty much done. Took them off cause yeah, I don't want them to burn. They're on the cusp of burning if I let them for any more longer. This chicken right there, I cut it open just to make sure it was done. And it just needed maybe another minute in the pan, so I just threw it on with the rest. Look at the juice right here, though. Come on, man. It ain't burnt, that's flavor. Now we finna, finna toast this corn. 
Hey, bro, because I'm crazy, I'm finna add a spoonful of this. We got the corn right here with the spoonful of chipotle. Toast it up real nice. Gonna add this to the water. I wasn't gonna use the whole box, <clears throat> but I think I am. Lucky. I'm probably gonna give my dog some, so like for his milk. But anyways, let's see. Let's see. Okay, girl. These ones are the ones that were in there second. I didn't put them in longer. And oh no, these ones are done. This this chicken was done. It was tender to cut through, beautiful, juicy. Now these were like hard still, so I'm finna like they're not all the way done. Like I should have cubed it in the first place, bro. See how you see that pink? Basically, I'm finna cook this a little bit more, so it's gonna be okay. So we got the cooked pasta, bacon bits, and the corn on the bottom. So this is how I'm going to leave it for now. Once everything cools down a bit more, I'm going to add the Caesar dressing, green onion, pickle jalapeno, Parmesan cheese, and call it a day. Got some green onions next. It's not even done and it looks so good. Got the chicken and everything. I'm also cooking my dog's food in the back. But all we got to do now is add the pickle jalapenos and carrots, Parmesan and Caesar dressing, and we're done. And then I'm not gonna add the romaine in it in it like that. I'm gonna put it as a bed when I wanna eat it because I don't want the romaine to get soggy. Cause then you can't eat this this the thing when it's so, like soggy romaine all in it. Ukraine? You, Brilliant. Who wants? We have got some Russia. It's so beautiful. Okay. She tells me that she goes to Martini Bar with her best friend every Thursday. So cool. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> that looks good. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Taste test. <laughs> also, y'all, after I filmed this, I added more Caesar dressing, and oh my god, it literally changed the game. It just needs a more dressing. I didn't put enough because of the, the lettuce, so put more dressing. <laughs> 